but we're back again and we're going to be doing a YouTube video now and I'm going to show you how to do a fill-in character or a fill-in, you know, it could be a piece or a character, basically using your scrap cans to just kind of fill an area and then create your artwork on top of it. That way you can utilize a lot of paint. The guys from Bike Polo came by yesterday, they, uh, they just built a new section of wall and it's black so it's primed and ready to go. So I think we need to get over there and uh, see what this is all about. Anyway, so come with me, we'll get started. All right guys, we're back. I got a whole complement of scrap cans and uh, we're gonna do today what I like to call a fill-in piece or a fill-in character. Any situation where you got a bunch of colors that aren't quite full, you just kinda wanna mash them together, use them up, and create a little bit of art at the same time. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure which one of these colors I'm gonna use, but I got a huge, a huge array of shades. And you know, some of these cans are about half full, half full, almost empty, half full, almost empty, almost empty. So we're, we, we're just gonna mesh it up, see what happens and uh, create a piece of art, you feel me? But um, what I'm gonna do today is since we have a piece that we did here last week, for last week's video, I thought we'd fill in the background with some great shades and illustrate it with a nice little character, right? You feel me guys? So let's get started. Um, I did notice one thing, I do need to add a bit on this. The homies over at Seattle Bike Polo Definitely check out seattlebikepolo.com. They also use this uh, arena. I guess it's an arena now. Arena Graffiti Yard, Living Gallery. Yeah, so they use this space to play bike polo. And if you don't know, it's a, it's a sport just like polo, but on fixed gear bikes and they get down. They really get down, man. You come here in the summertime, they're barbecuing, drinking Ranier, you know, just having a good time with their homies. And it integrates really well with the graffiti. So. Definitely check out Seattle Bike Polo and thank you for the new piece of wall space that's actually tall enough to paint. So let's get cracking. So I'm just going to start filling in a little bit and uh, I'm going to start with the red first of all. And the reason why is I had a red splash on the other side so I just want to create almost like a cohesive wall here, you feel me? And what I'm using is the flame blue, the little uh, 150 low pressure cans and I've got to tell you they write really really nice. The thing is though is Molotow really needs to come out with some more colors. It only comes in like six shades, and inexplicably, inexplicably, one of them is um, like butterfly or one of those weird Molotov. I don't understand why they, they have all these primary colors and they have this one really random color. Maybe they got a good deal on the pigment, I don't know. Nevertheless, um, they do paint rather nicely. They're very low pressure, extremely low pressure. Uh, acrylic paint, of course. go ahead and just start filling this in you know it's a red so it takes a little bit more coats but nothing we can't handle here at the art primo corporation all right sick so we got a little bit of that red flowing I think we got to have a little bit more coming out like this and then we're gonna get nasty in a second here all right Let's go ahead and tiger stripe that bad boy in. People always ask me who was my inspiration. I would say Shaq. Especially when he rapped in the 90s. That was some of the illest shit. Didn't he rap with Wu-Tang? Pretty sure he rapped with Wu-Tang. Or was it the Fushnickens? I sometimes mix them up. I don't know why. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some more filling in. Right now we're going to get real buttery and dusty. I got a can of Mad Sea Psycho Pink. About half full. I'm just going to fat cap a dusty little spray. Just make a happy little spray. A happy, happy little spray. Don't worry about making it perfect. We're just doing fill in here. And thankfully the wall's buffed out black. So I might have to be able to utilize a little bit of that black as well. So just dust it in. Woo! Like look, I'm not even trying. Like that's, that's how loose you got to be. Just don't even try. Just mess around, guys. Maybe some hardline stuff. Just for shits and giggles. Why don't we use another color? I got cans! I got 
cans! I got cans coming out of my ass! Welcome to our Primo Crazy Green Ranger sale! I got cans for $5.95, I got cans for $5.95, I got cans for $9.95, I got cans for $4.95. Come to here, ourprimo.com, I got the best deals for you. Woo! <laughs> Ah, we're having a good time. Get hyped, go paint something, go paint, kid. That's my motto. All right, oh yeah. <clears throat> Up next, I have a can of Calypso Middle. This used to be known as Coke 2 Calypso Middle. Now it's just Calypso Middle. I don't think Molotov's doing the sponsorship with American writers. Anyway, just Calypso Middle. Go ahead and just start dusting it in. And again, you don't have to try. Just dust it. No worries, homie. Just some little dusty dusters. Just get loose, baby. Get loose like a goose. Get in there. I gotta tell you, I really love this, this Calypso color. It's, it's got beautiful tonality. Uh, it covers very, very well. Let's rock in a little bit of grape. In German, they call it raisin. Now remember, just give it the dusty roux, and now you can start kind of doing some weird, like, flary stuff. Why not, right? Why not? Those look kind of cool. We got some nice purples, pinks, a little bit of green up in there. I think we need to um, we need to complement these colors with some yellow. I'm gonna dust in some. Uh, I'm gonna dust in some some golden yellow, golden yellow by Molotov. And this is also another fantastic shade. Do some little dots. There we go, maybe another dot over here. As you can see, there's no rhyme to my reason, or there's no reason to my rhyme. But I got the time to not drop dimes, cause I'm here to slay, I'm not here to play. I'm a motherfucking G, so listen to me, I got what you need to get up on the street. That didn't rhyme, but that's okay. We're having fun. Gotta pull up my pants. When you start getting older, your pants always sag. Got old man ass. <clears throat> All right, dope. All right, guys. So we're back. Uh, I think I want to darken down a little bit. So I got some of this. Uh, what is this? True blue, tulip blue, tulip blue in the Molito covers all can. So let's go ahead and tulip it out. Uh, I think this will be some more uh, hardline bubbles, things like that, just to kind of break up what's going on here. You feel me? We're just adding shapes. But you know what? I think we need to get outside of the bubbles and stuff after this. Let's start doing some hardline bits, things like that. Just to kind of offset what's going on here. But let me dust this up like this. We're gonna be using some flame orange, which a lot of people mistakenly refer to a high pressure paint. It's actually a high output paint. And uh, you can get thin lines with it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and use is a German outline uh, universal, which is a very popular cap. Me, I personally don't care for these kind of caps. Um, I don't like the way they pinch my finger, but they are very popular. So we're gonna go ahead and feature it because I know you guys like them. Let's see how it works on the flame orange. So remember, this is a paint that people refer to as high pressure. But as you can see, you can get very sharp, shardy lines. Did I say sharty or shardy? <laughs> shardy, not sharty. 
All right, let me fix that. Guess I'll have to put a 3D on that one because I was laughing. Hey, if you mess up your graffiti because you're laughing, you're probably doing it right, so no worries. Let me put another little baby bit here. Just, just freak it, mess around. Oh, and for you guys who are trying to learn your cane control, this is a very creative way to practice your cane control. Because you don't have to worry about getting your letters right or your shapes right. Just flow with it, baby. Just roll with it. You feel me? To a million pieces into the wind, then you will achieve nirvana. <laughs> Enough of my crazy talk. Let's go ahead and add a couple bubbles. And as you know, um, this is that color I really like a lot, that light aqua. When you put the fat cap on it, oops, when you put the fat cap on it, it sprays about this wide. It's fantastic. That was in that first spur piece video we did, remember? So yeah, let's go ahead and get some other stuff going here. A few little bits. I think we're about ready to drop the character. I just wanna make sure my background is well filled and everything is utilized as it should be. Let's add a little bit more color to the mix. All right, so now I'm gonna do some hard line fades with the Kiwi Light in the flame orange. And again, I'm using the uh, German Universal Outline cap. It's a fantastic cap, even though I don't like it. <laughs> People love this cap. They really do. And I get it. It's good for like that little, that little like low pressure stuff, man. It really is. So I understand why you guys like it. Why don't we do some stars with this? Perfect. Let me step back really quick and see if we have significant fill-in. All right, guys, so I got, um, I did bring two full cans uh, because I didn't have any flesh tones, so I got a can of uh, caramel, which is a nice, uh, a nice uh, nutty brown, and I got Sahara beige, which is a nice, you know, light beige color. Um, should represent a few different racial backgrounds because we want to give everyone a, a look or I don't know what I'm saying fuck I'm just saying I, I got great skin tones okay so anyways <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, get these well shaken I noticed that the caramel ball was stuck in there that means there's a lot of pigment so let me make sure I get very very good agitation and what we're going to be doing are old, old school graffiti characters and what those are, just the basic, think of like Wild Style or the old graffiti movies. These are great characters to learn on because they kind of follow the same foundational building uh, as you would with a, uh, with a piece, you know? Because you start it with your outline, your fill, the, the, the whole thing is the same. So if you just think about it as graffiti letters, it won't be so intimidating. So I know a lot of guys do really great letters, but they're afraid to do characters because they think they're out of their element, but they're not. It's all in your mind. It's really in your head. 
Um, just think of it as lines and shapes. That's all it is, just like your letters. So let's go ahead and get to that. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is, um, is two characters, like two homies like this, you know? It's a real simple way to draw them. And uh, we'll show you how it's done, baby. So first, I think what I'm gonna do to make the illustration easier for you guys is I'm gonna first outline it in white so it shows up on the wall with high contrast. So just bear with me one second. I'm gonna go get a can of white. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't normally do this, but I want you guys to be able to see it on film really well, is I'm gonna outline my character foundation in white. That way you can see it in high contrast what it looks like as you build it. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm gonna do is uh, step and look at the wall really quick. And I think I'm gonna do my first guy right here. So first, just draw a square. Then draw uh, a, is that a parallelogram? Par no, it's not a parallelogram, I forgot what it's called. Some of you guys who uh, do geometry, remind me what that's called. Um, do that, that, that. Now you draw a little rectangle right there. And then you draw a little square like that. And then you draw a line like that. Because of course he's going to have a huge bucket hat. Which will probably have a Kangol logo on it. Let's draw a line like that. There's a few different ways you can do these characters. I'm just doing like a really basic foundational way. Move that down a little bit. All right. So he's gonna have his arms like that. So just go whoop, 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 whoop. Probably just have him kind of floating in a little bubble right there because uh, probably won't match up with anything. We'll have his arm going out like that, another arm like that, and then uh, this one will be holding a can over here. Or something. Yeah, something like that. Give him a rat tail because it's the 80s and we love rat tails. All right, let's go ahead and start filling it in, guys. I think this young man will be uh, will be in the uh, caramel color. So let's go ahead and fill him in. there for the hand all right let's fill in his shirt you can even use the same colors you use for the background fill it don't matter you're your own grandpa do your thing so I'm gonna use the aqua light to fill in his shirt colors try to go over this white as much as possible because you don't want it showing through in the finished product you can always go back over it with the black on your outline. This is a great shade because it looks almost like, um, it looks like the Mariners team look color actually. And as you can see, I like the Mariners. All right, get that filled in. You guys follow me so far, you get it? You understand? Are you grokking what I'm selling? All right, I think for this hat, we're gonna do the Kangol in black. It's a good shade for that, I think. What do you think, guys? All right, so we're using the uh, soft blue cap from Molotov. And as the name says, it's extremely soft spray. Very controllable. I rather like it.
Very good, very good. Oh yeah, he has hair too, doesn't he? Just do sharp lines like this and you'll be fine. All right, looking good. What's next? Oh, he has eyes. Doesn't he have eyes? I think he, oh no, 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 no. Let's give him some sunglasses. That's what we're gonna do. He's gonna have sunglasses. Cause he's, he's a cool guy. Little dot right there. Bring it down like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Is this starting to make sense, guys? Like that. And then he has shades, right? Let's give him some shades. I'm not sure what color they're gonna be. Always remember when you're doing a shirt to add that little extra shadow right there. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So that's like that. And then I'm going to use some gray to highlight the hat because we're, we need to create some contrast between the shades in his head. So no big deal there. We'll get to that in a second. All right, let's do the arms. Then we'll do something floaty down there. It's coming out pretty good. If you want to get really uh, anal retentive, some people like to go into their character and do all this cutback stuff like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is. I kind of like to show my work. I'm a big fan of that. I had a long late night walk with that guy Malvo one time, and we were talking about showing your work. And and you know people who have cut back too much and there's no there's no rules against it you can cut back all you want but aesthetically I kind of like people who do minimal cutbacks because you can really see what their natural lines look like now that doesn't work with all graffiti I mean if you're gonna be doing like some biomechanical stuff or things like that it doesn't really work that well but for like old school style it's cool to see the actual spray lines and really how the can looks in reality you know what I'm saying I dig that I just want to create a little bit of a contrast here, so what I'm going to do is use these uh, light gray neutrals and just do a little bit of a fady dusty thing on the hat right here, just to create a little contrast. And then I'm going to do a line like that, like that, and like that. Maybe a little one right there. And that's just to create a little contrasty edge. Looks a little bit better now. Um, all right, sick. So let's draw the little uh, Kangol guy on here. How does it go? It's like a little tail. A little arm. A little thingy. A little retarded kangaroo. <laughs> good enough, good enough, good enough. All right, sick. So this dude is chilling. Um, I think I need to fix that. Well, I can just kind of go like this. I'm just being anal retentive. There we go. No one will know the better. So I think, is this guy done? I think he's pretty much done. So let's do another guy, right? I think we should do one more character. All right, I think that's good enough, guys. We got a little character in there. Like I said, it's just like building letters with the old school stuff, right? You do your shape, you do your fill, you do some, some outlines, do some highlights. You got a character easy as that guys so in this video as you see we went through whole background uh, splash work as well as doing a character and we left a little room to do another character later 
So I'm going to cut out for this video, and we'll be seeing you soon. Uh, expect another piece of character on this wall right here. All right, guys, this is GR signing out. I want to say thank you to all the homies. I want to say thank you to all the followers, and be sure to follow us, subscribe to our videos, be sure to like our videos, be sure to share our videos, and always, always, always be sure to get your graph supplies from artprimo.com. Our name is on the can, artprimo.com, imported in the USA by us because we ball, we don't fall, we hustle hard, we kill it, we love you, I'll talk to you later, peace. <laughs>